Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to another episode of Bad Beast Barbecue. Hey, today we're going to be doing a turkey. We're going to be doing a rotisserie turkey on the Kamado Big Joe 3, okay? I know some other guys have done it out there on YouTube, but I haven't used my rotisserie yet, so we're going to put it through its paces today, okay? So what I have here is a 10-pound butterball turkey, okay? It's already been brined overnight. We put it in a simple brine of two liters of water, uh, one half cup of kosher salt and one half cup of sugar, okay? We dissolve all that up. We poured it on top of the turkey and we let it brine in the refrigerator overnight. We pulled it out this morning, cleaned it up, and now it's ready to go, okay? We've already patted dry the skin and now we're ready to put on our seasoning, okay? So let's get started. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to spray our turkey with some Pam. This is to help with the skin and also to help my rub stick. Okay. Now the rub that we're using today is from uh, Oak Ridge Barbecue. This is their game bird and chicken rub, okay? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and knock that out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the skin here. You see, I already loosened up the skin, and I want to make sure I hit my breast with the rub and inside the cavity, like so. We're not going to put anything inside the cavity like rosemary or onion or anything like that. We're just going to let it go with an empty cavity. All right. And we'll go ahead and season the rest of our bird. Okay. Now, currently, the Kamado Joe is outside right now, preheating. I'm going to let it get up to 300 degrees, and I'm going to try to back it back down to about 275, 250 degrees. And we're going to let this bad boy spin to perfection. All right. All right, so we got our uh, turkey seasoned up. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to tie up the legs and the wings, okay? So let me go, here's my, my butcher's twine, and uh, let me get something to cut it with because I didn't bring anything downstairs. So be right back. All right, so we went ahead and cut our butcher's twine. I'm going to make a loop on one end here and tie it around the, the drumstick, bottom of the drumstick leg. I'm going to wrap around the other one, bring, bring them together. I'm off. Now, I know there are several ways to trust up a bird. I'm not the, the trust, trust up bird expert, but as long as I can get the legs tied together, it's all good. All right, so we got that done. And now we got another piece. Now, I want to go ahead and trust up these wings here up against the side of the bird. Now, this particular turkey from Butterball, the wing tips have been cut off. So it's just the, the flat and the drumette. So, so we bring this to the center. Tie it like so. And there we have it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cut these extra strings off. And we're going to go ahead and put our spit in. So don't go nowhere. All right, so now we're gonna try to go ahead and get our spit in our turkey, all right? So, we'll go in through the cavity, through the neck. All right. And I wanna try to find the middle of the spit, like so. This in. Oh. 
and there we have it. So let's hope it uh it works out. All right. All right. We'll go out and check on the Kamado Joe and uh, make sure she's up to temp. All right, guys, so we're done with our cook. Uh, I'll put the total time at the bottom of the screen here so you can check it out. A little over two hours to get this bird uh, to 170 degrees in the breasts and 175, 180 degrees in the thigh and in the uh, drumstick. So I wanted to make sure it was done, okay? So uh, USDA regulation says 174, so around 174 degrees, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and give you a close-up look at the bird. All right, guys, so here's our turkey. It's got some nice color on it. It smells fantastic. As you can see, the back of our bird ran a, a little afoul. Ha, ha, ha. You know, the, uh, my tying, my trusting came uh, a little loose. Plus, uh, the uh, forks that were on the spit uh, kind of slid out when the bird started to shrink in size. So that's something I'll mention uh, right before we get ready to cut into this bad boy, but not bad at all. Not bad at all. I wouldn't present this bird on the table like this. I probably would cut it up and present it to uh, my guest if, uh, if I had any. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and have a taste test. All right, guys. So before we cut into this bird, there's a couple of things that I want to point out that I learned from the cook. This was the first time that I used the, um, rotisserie for the Big Joe 3. Uh, so number one, make sure that after the bird has been cooking for about an hour or so that you go back and reposition your forks. Uh, as your uh, turkey uh, heats and as it warms and cooks, it's going to shrink a little bit. And uh, so one end came off of my forks because I, I didn't have them pushed in tight enough. So either ensure that you push your forks in tight enough or go back and reposition your forks as the bird uh, shrinks in size. Okay. Uh, the second thing is, uh, as you guys know, the ring for the, the, the jotisserie or the rotisserie, um, it doesn't lock in place. It just sits on the gasket. And so I didn't really like the fact that the, the lid was not, uh, secured down. So I took a, a weight. I had a crown royal bag. I put a small brick in there and I hung it on the handle. And all I did was add just a little bit of pressure to kind of uh, reinforce the seal around the ring okay um, also we use the uh, meteor or the, I'm sorry I keep pronouncing this wrong the meter thermometer okay this was fantastic especially when you're doing rotisserie because you can't have those cables like from the Maverick and the other thermometers uh, spinning around the spit or it's not going to work. So this wireless thermometer was fantastic. Stuck it in the breast. It stayed there. It gave me the ambient temperature of the uh, Kamado Joe plus the internal temperature of the turkey. Okay, so if you're interested in getting one of these, check out the uh, the meter folks. Okay, and uh, they have 
the single ones and then they have uh, one that has like comes with four thermometers and uh, I haven't tried that one yet I have it um, but I haven't had a cook to where I had to monitor two three or four different pieces of meat at one time so we may have to make that a video in the near future okay so uh, that's about it let's go ahead and cut into this bad boy and see how it came out okay so we got our long fork and our Dow strong knife okay this is the chef knife so we're gonna go ahead and check this out if you guys are interested in getting a chef knife I have a uh, code for Dow Strong that'll get you 10% off, okay? So if you're interested in getting these, I'll put that down in the description box and here at the bottom of the screen. These are some great knives. Uh, I have this knife and I have the one that you cut up vegetables. Uh, both of them are great. And I even have the Big Gladiator Cleaver uh, also. I've been having that one for quite some while. These are some fantastic knives, so check them out, okay? All right, so let's see what we got here. Not bad, it's still hot, hopefully it's juicy. So the test is always the breast meat. So let's see what we got. And it smells fantastic, man. That uh, Oak Ridge barbecue uh, rub smells fantastic. All right, let's see what we got. Oh yeah, this is some good turkey breast here. Some good turkey, yeah. It's um, moist, it's not dry. It got flavor through and through because we brined it with a simple brine last night. And then we rubbed the breast meat directly with the rub itself and the skin. So, mm. now granted, I did take the breast a little bit past uh, what is considered done uh, just so I can make sure that it was, it was done. Uh, it's not dry, uh, it's not a waterfall of, of juices, but it tastes really good. I should have did what I thought started to do before and stick about four or five uh, tablespoons of unsalted butter inside the cavity and then let it spin around and then um, kind of uh, moisten and, um, and flavor the inside of the bird. But this is really, really good. Mm. Okay, that was the uh, breast. Let's get a little bit of this dark meat off of the drumstick. see what we got here mm, this smells fantastic I gotta tell you that simple brine did a good job of putting some salt and some flavor into the meat itself like I said it was a half a cup of sugar a half a cup of a kosher salt in two liters of water and we brined it overnight probably for about eight hours so but it tastes real good okay well that's about it Hey, if you guys, once again, if you guys are interested in the Dow Strong Knife, I'll leave the information down below, okay? And, um, and if you're interested in a meter thermometer, I'll leave that information also, okay? Hey, if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave some comments in the bottom. Uh, like I said, this was a learning lesson for me because I had not used the rotisserie uh, for the Kamado Joe. This was the first time. I like it, um, and I'm probably going to be doing more cooks using the rotisserie okay maybe next time we'll do a rotisserie pork butt that sounds real good tie that bad boy up season it down and uh, let it go so well that's it hey like we always say where there's smoke there's fire if it's fire then damn it there just might be a barbecue there hey as always hey we'll see you guys around the smoker hmm. good stuff <laughs>